Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how I created this really fun, bright yellow look using a whole bunch of new makeup, new releases that were very, very kindly sent to me. So we'll be dipping into Colourpop's new AHA Honey Palette. Oh my goodness, it is so pretty. I also try out Benefit's new Hello Happy Foundation as well as their Velvet Setting Powder. I try out a new affordable drug store highlight and guys spoiler alert it's amazing so I really hope that you are excited for this video I had so much fun filming it before you leave I would love for you to subscribe to my channel check out my Instagram which is linked down below and if you would like to see how I created this look then just keep watching so let's jump straight in so I have here Colourpop's here we glow again face bundle and this contains a glow up face oil a turmeric face milk and a squeeze the day lippy scrub now I have tried one of Colourpop's lippy scrubs before and I remember it not being very gritty and I do like quite a gritty lip scrub just to you know really get in there get the job done but in the end the reason I couldn't use it was because of the smell so this is the one that I've used in the past and I remember it just having like a really sweet like fake lolly smell yeah it's just like really artificial so I'm hoping this one is gonna smell a little bit better oh wow this one's scent is so much more subtle than this one this one's scent is like so strong and overpowering so I'm glad that it's like so much more subtle sometimes I'm just like if it doesn't smell nice don't have a scent at all <laughs> okay I'm liking this if you like like a really soft lip scrub then I think you'll really like this and it's not like drying out my lips like my lips feel nice and hydrated and it tastes really good as well I can't determine if it's like passion fruit if it's lemon though because it says squeeze the day I'm gonna look up what flavor this lip scrub is because my taste buds are failing me right now and I need to know lemon oh my gosh it's like a nice lemon you know I don't, I'm not really a big fan of lemon lollies it's like a subtle lemon. Let's try the Fourth Ray Beauty. Isn't that Colourpop's like sister brand or something? I remember hearing Kathleen Light say that Colourpop owns like another cosmetics brand or something. Either way, it's a turmeric face milk and I looked it up and online it says it's a subtle illuminating moisture booster, mo moisture booster for radiant skin. So that sounds pretty good to me. Mm, this feels really nice and moisturizing. So while I let that sunk into my skin, let's talk foundations. So I have here Benefits New Hello Happy Foundations. So this is the Flawless Brightening Foundation and then the Velvet Powder Foundation. And they both claim to have a 12 hour long wear. This claims to have medium coverage and has an SPF, SPF of 15. And then the powder has a brush and sponge inside and it says, for light coverage, use the brush, and for medium coverage, use the sponge. And it also says that it's breathable, a velvety smooth finish, so they both sound good. So let's have a look at what foundation shade I'm going to be. So this is three and four. They both look pretty similar in the packaging, so let's take them out. Okay, so this is shade number four. I think this is definitely going to match me better and I'm not going to use a sponge with it because I like my full coverage and this is medium coverage and I just think using a sponge is like really going to soak up the product so I'm just going to go in with a brush. So starting off with two pumps and then we'll see how we go. So this is looking really nice on my skin and all together I used three pumps to get a nice medium coverage. My skin is looking nice and radiant which could be a mix of the face milk and the foundation. So I look forward to trying them both separately but yeah my face looks really good. I don't know if you need both this foundation and the um, Benefit Hello Happy Soft Blur Foundation which is light coverage. You could probably just use this foundation and you know sheer it out with um, like a beauty sponge but yeah so far it's looking really nice. No new concealer to try today so I'm just going to take the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Neutral and just apply that under my eyes down the center of my face to brighten. Before going in with that benefit powder, I'm going to take a translucent powder and just apply it under my eyes as I don't feel I need any coverage there and I don't want the possibility of things to become a little bit cakey. 
So I'm going to take the shade number three, so just a tad lighter than the foundation shade. And this is the ColourPop F1 brush, just a nice fluffy brush. I'm just going to go ahead and set the rest of my face. It set my foundation down really nicely. It has added a little bit more coverage, which I like. So yeah, my skin's looking really, really good. No new bronzer to try today. So I'm just gonna take the very well-loved Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, and I'm just gonna apply this around the perimeters of my face to warm up my skin. I have a new blush here from BYS. This is in Rose Quartz. And I'm only going to apply a little bit of this because it is quite bright. But I'm just going to be popping that straight onto the apples of my cheeks. I like that although it's quite bright, it's also quite sheer. So you can just build up the colour really nicely. So another new product here from BYS, this is their Diamond Highlight in Energy. The packaging of this is so beautiful. Of course, I had to ruin it with my long ass nails. I took like two massive chunks out of it, but it's really pretty. But before I go in with that, I'm just gonna quickly set my face. This is of course gonna set everything down, lock it in for the day, but also it's gonna help make the highlight really pop. Check this out. Yes. This highlight is so affordable as well. So we found a good one. So moving straight up to the eyes, of course I'm going to start with a base. And this is the P. Louise base in 0.5. And this is going to help the shadows last longer and also be more pigmented. I'm just using my finger to blend out those edges. So there's no harsh line between that base and the foundation. So grabbing at ColourPop's Aha uh -huh Honey palette, as well as their Catch Some Sun brush set. So in here it has all eye brushes, some like fluffy, some flat brushes. So I thought that we would use them today. So I'm gonna start off by taking the E1 brush and dip into the darkest shade in the palette, Buzzkill. And I'm gonna really focus that on my outer corner. With that same brush, I'm going to take the shade Totally Buggin'. And again, I'm just focusing that on my outer corner. And I want this look to be really, really like blown out and soft. So I'm going to be focusing all of my shadows in that outer corner and just gradually start to blend them into the crease. I really want all of the shimmer shades and the glitters to be focused on the inner corner and lid area of my eye. Okay, it's time to really kick up the yellow in this look. So I'm gonna continue with that same brush and I'm gonna go in with the shade O Behave. And again, focusing that on my outer corner and starting to really blend it into my crease. And I'm using tapping motions so that I can really pack that color onto the wet base to make it more pigmented. I realized that like I didn't even really talk about the palette. Um, I knew that I was going to love it because I love Colourpop shadows, the formula, it's amazing and it's so affordable and I really love their like monochrome collection that they've been doing, you know, where like one palette's all pinks, one's all blues and yellow and gold, oh my gosh, they're some of my absolute favorite shadows so I was really excited by this and I think it's a really pretty palette. I maybe would have liked to have seen maybe like another yellow in there or another gold. Um, I don't think it's going to be like your next new wearable everyday palette, but I think you definitely could get some like really pretty soft like wearable gold looks from it. But yeah, so far I'm loving it and I can definitely see myself using it again. I'm going to take this fluffy brush, this is the E2, and I'm going to pick up the lightest yellow in the palette called Sweet Spot. And I'm going to use that to buff out and blend out this whole look. And I love this shade because it really adds that bright pop of yellow. And some of the previous shades may get a little bit lost throughout the blending process, so I'm just going to go back in and re-intensify them. I'm taking the Too Faced Glitter Glue and this is going to act as an adhesive for the next shade that we go in with and that next shade is Dandy with the Colourpop E3 brush. It's this gorgeous yellowy gold. It has to be one of my favourite shades in the palette and I'm just applying that all over my inner corner and the inner portion of my lid. I'm taking the shade Queen Bee to create a really nice gradient between that gold shimmer shade and the shadows on my outer corner. 
and taking more of the lightest yellow in the palette to blend out the whole look. So I'm going to take this middle shade, which is like a chunky glitter. It's really pretty. It has like an orangey shift to it. On the back, it does say not intended for use in the immediate eye area. And I knew I had seen this shade before. And I realized that ColourPop sent me a few months back these single versions of the chunky glitters. They're really, really pretty. I have used them on my eyes before. And they're not really irritating when they're on your eyes. They are quite chunky, but it's more the removal because I usually use a like cleansing balm to remove my makeup and I usually rub it all over my face to melt the makeup that was a very bad idea when I used this glitter because and then I was like rubbing it in my eyes all over my face it was a hot mess so when I do use glitters like this I like to take my cleansing balm and like a cotton pad and you know remove the makeup upwards rather than like rubbing it all over my face so that it doesn't get in my eyes so I will be using it on my eyes today just a little bit to give you know my eyes a little something something but that's definitely something to keep in mind if you do have really sensitive eyes so I'm just patting on a little tiny bit of that Too Faced glitter glue just so that that chunky glitter has something to stick to and this is the type of glitter that you definitely want to pick up with your finger it's not really gonna work with a brush So pretty. Okay, cute. So I'm usually not one to apply liner because I do have hooded eyes and it can quickly become a hot mess. But we're just going to go for it today because I really think a winged liner is going to look really nice with this look. So I have this one by Sam Marcel. It's a luxurious waterproof liquid liner. And I got this sent to me a little bit ago. So it's not new to the market, but it's new to me. Oh, this looks very luxurious. Let's have a look at the tip. Okay, so it has a really nice fine tip. So let's just go ahead and give it a go. Wow, that... um quickly escalated to a really big wing. I think I'm gonna be like a little bit fancy today and do a little like a point in my inner corner. But oh my gosh, this liner is amazing. I remember when they sent it to me, I think they said like world's best liner or something. And I was like, I don't know, a little bit skeptical, but like, holy moly, this is amazing. It was so pigmented. The tip is so incredibly fine. It didn't like seep into any of your fine lines. It was amazing. Well, I'm really excited for this product now. It's also by Sam Marcel and it's their volumizing mascara. This packaging, it's like a soft velvet touch. It's so luxurious. Okay, cool. So this is what the wand looks like. So let's give it a go. Okay, cool. Well, I really love that. I love that it's a volumizing mascara, but it still gave my lashes a length. So yeah, now I want to add some falsies to, you know, add a little drama. And the other week, Huda Beauty's team, they added me to their PR list, which like is still mind-blowing to me, but they sent me a really generous package. And I've never tried Huda Beauty's lashes before, so I'm really excited about these. These are in the style 12, and I love that they're like fluffy and wispy, but they have a little like spike to them, which I think is going to look really awesome with this look. Okay, we are on the home stretch, so let's finish off the lower lash line. So I'm going to start by taking a black liner and lining my waterline. Then I'm just taking all the shades we've used so far, so starting off with that darker shade, applying it as close to my waterline as possible, and finishing with that lightest yellow to just buff out the whole look. And to do this, I'm going to switch between the ColourPop E11 and E5 brush and then just applying some lower lash mascara. Now for lips, again, I don't have anything new, but I just want all the attention on the eyes. So I'm just gonna go for a classic nude lip. So this is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics of Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Mannequin. Has anyone else been seeing that like big chunky hair clip trend that's going around? I mean, I really like it, but I just, I don't know how it's gonna suit me, but I decided to pick one up because it goes perfectly with this look. And I mean, it could be cute. Okay, I can't tell. Do I pull this off or does it just look terrible? Hmm, I can't decide if I love it or if I hate it. I mean, it's kind of cute. And there you have it. This is the 
finished look using a whole bunch of new makeup. I love how it turned out. It's just so bright and cheerful and I hope that you love it too. And the best part is that I loved all of the products that I used today. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will be seeing you on my next one. Bye guys.